If you are single, you make around 2,650. If you are married, you make 3,000. So essentially, if you get married, you're making an extra 350 euros just like that, right? Want to know the implications of marriage on your net salary and basic tax calculations in Germany? Then this is the video for you. Let's get started right away with the video. I'm on this website. I'll post the link of the website in the description section. And we are going to see what will be our net salary based on various gross salaries in Germany. Okay. First up, realistically as an MIM graduate, expecting around 50,000 per year is very realistic in Europe. Okay. Particularly in Germany. So 50,000 per year. Let's take this calculation. Okay. Accounting year, I'm taking it as 2022. All right. Then tax classes. Okay. Most of you, I think, will be single people. So for single, the class is one. Let's use that. Unless you really believe in the church and stuff, you could mark this as a no, I think. So that way it's not a problem. And let's say you are in Berlin. Okay. And your age, I assume people will be 25, 26. Let's take 25. Okay. You're not married. I assume that you don't also have children. I'll put that as a no. And all these compulsory deductions for health, pension, and employment is must in Germany. Additional contributions, if you want, you can make. Let me take that out. Let me say that's additional contribution is not there. So 50,000 per year, right? What is the net salary? Let's calculate as a single person. So if I calculate, as you see here, the gross salary is of course 4,000 something per month. But if you scroll down after all the deductions, income tax, health insurance, everything, your net comes to around 2,658, okay? Single person earning 50,000 euros per year, net salary comes to around 2,658. Net, let me just return back to our page. Let me just do one small change in the calculation. Same 50,000 per year, I make it class three, saying that you're married. I say no, everything else is the same, okay? I've just changed the fact that you're married, so I've changed your tax class from one to three. And let's see the value. Wow, it's 2,985, same gross salary, 50,000 euro per year. If you're single, you make around 2,650. If you're married, you make 3,000. So essentially, if you get married, you're making an extra 350 euros just like that, right? Isn't that amazing? Again, I'm not recommending to get married for this sake, but food for thought for everyone, okay? Let's go back and do one more calculation. So 50,000 euro as a married person, you make almost 3,000 euro. Let me return to our original screen, okay? Instead of 50,000, let me make it 60,000 euro per month, but again as a single person. Okay, I'll just change class to one. So you're single, six, but you're making 60,000 euro per year this time. Rest all, everything is the same. Let me calculate. And it's 3,087, okay. Look at the funny part here. You're earning 50,000 euro as a married person, you make almost 3,000. You earn 60,000 euros per year as a single person, you just earn 3,087. Although your salary is 10,000 euro more, the fact that you're single makes you earn almost the same as what you earn at 50,000 as a married couple. <laughs> this is really funny, but yeah, I mean, keep these calculations in mind. And uh, regarding salaries, if you guys ask me what can we expect, 50 to 55, 60,000 is a very good range, okay? Allianz, I have seen companies like Allianz, Accenture, these pay in the range of 55 to 60K. Uh, data analyst mid-level would pay you around 50K. If you want to get into digital marketing, for instance, you can expect to make 45K. If you know data analytical tools, closer to 48, 49K. Consulting will play upwards of 60K. Some roles even pay 70K, but your work-life balance, you'll have to think about it. You might work 50 to 60 hours a week. So that's also important. So that's in terms of salaries. But the key takeaway today is 50,000 euro married couple earns same as almost 60,000 euro single person, right? How funny this is. And on top of this, if you have a child, they give you more allowance. So keep this in mind. I'm not recommending you to get married or have children, but some food for thought in terms of taxes and uh, salary in Germany. Thank you. I will see you again in another video.